Welcome to the Sand and Track channel with a series on four-wheel drive systems where I explain how they work on different cars. Today's car is the Toyota FJ Cruiser. Two H which is the everyday driving mode. It's the simplest mode to begin with. This is the mode that you use for everyday normal driving, whether on highways, city roads. And in this mode, the power goes to the two rear wheels only. 4H or four wheel drive high is for normal off-road driving. What this means is all four wheels are engaged, driving in sand, snow, mud, or even gravel roads. Far low, or what they call low range, it's maximum torque for extreme conditions. Think of it as beast mode for your car. It reduces the speed of your car like a slow tractor, but it gives you maximum torque and power. It's perfect for rock crawling, soft sand driving, deep mud, steep climbs, or recovering from very tricky situations. <music> Differential lock, use when stuck. When driving off-road, sometimes you might notice that one wheel is spinning, the other is not when the car is stuck. And this is because power is going to the wheel that has no traction on it and it doesn't allow the car to move. So when that happens, lock the diff lock and this forces both wheels to spin together at the same time, allowing you to recover. The A-Track on the Toyota, which is the active traction control system, it's to be used when the car is stuck. You activate it and the car will stop or apply brakes to the wheel that is spinning and will apply all the power to the wheel that has grip, allowing you to recover from tricky situations. Traction control, why do you need to disable it? It's because when you drive off-road, you do not want the car to think that the wheels are spinning and you do not want it to cut the power to your wheels. And if your FJ is not equipped with a traction control system, in the description below this video, I show you where you can get a plug and play system. I really hope you found this video useful. Choosing the right 4x4 setting makes a huge difference in off-road driving. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button for more off-road explanations and leave any comments below. Thank you.